we've reported that Austin, Texas, uh, at has on uh, at different times over the past couple of months cut parts of their police budget to purchase hotels for um, unhoused people to to live in. We have a a, a, a just a, a massive homelessness problem in this country. There are approximately 700,000 um, unhoused people. Two, uh, about 200,000 of those people are unsheltered. So, uh, or two to 300,000 are unsheltered. And these are, these are rough numbers, obviously. Um, and, and, and by unsheltered, I mean like they're not being provided with any type of like temporary sheltering. And temporary sheltering is... Um, is a different type of problem insofar as it, it does not solve the problem. <laughs> and uh, so here is how uh, Austin, Texas voters uh, apparently responded to what are, you know, small tent encampments that are happening in, in Austin, Texas, and how, how overjoyed. Um, we should say there are 17 million empty homes per the Census Bureau in 2019. Um, this is how uh, Fox and Friends and the Republican in charge of this uh, referendum campaign celebrated this weekend by essentially criminalizing people trying to find a place to sleep in a tent. People of Austin, Texas, taking a stand against the city's homeless crisis. Over the weekend, more than 85,000 voted in favor of bringing back the ban on public camping after the city's Democratic mayor rescinded that law two years ago. Save Austin Now is the political action committee behind the push to reinstate the ban. And its founder, Travis County Republican Party Chair Matt Makoviak, joins us now. Hey, Matt. Good morning, Ainsley. Thanks Good for Good morning. Having me. Thanks for being on with us. You had a great weekend. We did, but more importantly, our city had a great weekend. You know, we were right up along the edge of the abyss, uh, mm -hmm. looking down, and I think our city took a major step backwards, actually. But by, 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 going, by taking homeless. that step backwards, we took a major step forwards. Our city's never been less safe than it is right now. I've lived here since 1984, uh, and the homeless camping ordinance has really been destroying our city, destroying every neighborhood, every major intersection, every city park. It's simply not working. And in fact, a camping ordinance has never worked anywhere it's ever been tried. If you've been to Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, Portland, Honolulu, you know this firsthand. And so we had an uh, overwhelming victory over the weekend. We've worked for the last 10 weeks since this issue was put on the ballot. And we believe we won 40 percent of Democratic votes, 88 percent of independent votes, and 92 percent of Republican votes in one of the more progressive cities in the country. We think that's a model that can be used in other cities as well. And we're excited that we took this specific action to restore public safety and public health for our city and for our citizens. It's unbelievable that some of these leaders want to allow this, even for their own safety, for the homeless population's safety. There's got to be a better solution. Yeah, well. I, she may be on to something. Why don't you talk about some of those solutions, maybe? Perhaps actually providing housing for people instead of treating having a roof over your head as some sort of privilege only afforded to the uh, bootstrapped few. But uh, th this... Prop B, which I think I believe is being introduced throughout the state. Uh, am I wrong? I, I, I'm not 100 percent sure where it goes next. Yeah, but it's it's backed by millions of dollars in Republican cash. And it was an attempt to basically penalize the Austin City Council for putting more progressive houseless um, measures in place to deal with people humanely and make sure that we aren't just this incredibly callous society it criminalizes panhandling camping sleeping on public sidewalks or even sitting on public sidewalks meaning that it could be subject to fines and they say oh we're you know we're not gonna throw homeless people in jail or houseless people in jail but what happens when the poorest among us cannot pay the fines that you're going to level at them hundreds of dollars worth of fines and of course it also uh puts these folks in gives the police officers um a uh the cops a perfect opportunity to interact with people and uh roll them up and so this is going to end up essentially you're criminalizing uh being unhoused the organizers in austin are saying that they were spent 10 to 1 uh outspent i should say 10 to 1 on the vote of course 
Um, and There's not a lot of money on the protecting houseless people side of things. No. And uh, this story of, of just sort of criminalizing another group of people uh, and the dynamic here, um, sadly, dovetails nicely with what our next guest is going to talk about. We will be right back and talk to Victoria Law. She's a freelance journalist and author of Prisons Make Us Safer, 20 other myths about mass incarceration. We'll be right back after this.